Today's Morning Minute, Solve Problems. And we read in Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 9, Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Then finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice and the God of peace will be with you. The following scriptures were written while Paul was in prison. These are encouraging words. As you change your thinking, your attitude will change. As your attitude changes, your belief and actions will follow. And the peace, and the peace which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. As you solve your problems by changing the focus of your heart and mind, you can escape the prison of your mind and thoughts. Guard your heart and mind by thinking about what is true, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy in Christ Jesus. Rejoicing and praising the Lord in thanksgiving will create a gentleness, which brings a peace that transcends all understanding. Whatever problem, circumstance, or situation you face, God's word can change your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Your problems, which look like immovable mountains, can become like clay in God's almighty hands. God's wisdom is greater than man's thinking. God's wisdom is greater than man's thinking. God's desire is to reconcile you to himself in the peace which transcends all your problems and circumstance. You can trust, you can trust and lean on him totally because he is faithful. He is creator, holy God. Amen and amen.